Hello everyone, with the Jamaica here. Welcome to this updated video on the other across Jamaica and the rest of the Caribbean. It is Monday evening, April 15, 2024. Now before we jump into it, please ensure that you guys like the video, share it, subscribe and tap the notification bell so that you'll be notified every time I post a brand new video. Feel free to leave a comment down in the comment section letting me know what that has been like your year recently. Also feel free to ask any other related question that you might have about the future though during your specific era. Alright, so let us take a look at this tweet by Ben Noel. He's actually a meteorologist at the National Institute of Water and Atmospheric Research in New Zealand. And from time to time, he makes posts about the Atlantic hurricane season, which are actually very much accurate. I remember a time when he posted about the 2020 Atlantic hurricane season, a very similar map to this one, and how active it would have been in terms of the rainfall and stormy conditions. And that's exactly what took place in 2020, if you remember. And he just made this post recently. Keep in mind that you can follow him on Twitter at Ben Noel, whether it's worth it. He stated the latest ECMWF and UK Met super blend for the heart of hurricane season continues to suggest a very active pattern in the Atlantic. It seems to favor east to west tracks and not recurving systems. Above normal precipitation covers the Gulf of Mexico and southeast. So he's highlighting the fact that all of these greens that stretch from africa into the caribbean and the gulf of mexico are representative of rainfall maybe tropical waves troughs low pressure systems maybe developing into tropical depressions tropical storms maybe even hurricanes either way it's all representative of a wetter pattern across the basin all courtesy of the very warm atlantic and the lack of el nino so it actually spells trouble and it does tie in well with what predictions have been suggesting that the peak of hurricane season from July through to September even closer to November might be very active this year look at that ear right there near Jamaica with those darker shades of greens it's very interesting to see that so we might even get an amount of flash flooding taking place in some spot during uh, that time period it's very interesting we'll see exactly what unfolds and i'll be here to keep you all up to date with what's happening taking a look at the visible satellite images of the atlantic before the sun went down we can see that we have the numerous troughs and cold fronts still stalling right there across portions of the greater antilles so we still have a lot of cloud cover bringing some amount of isolated showers and thunderstorm activity to sections of the southern Bahamas, eastern Cuba, the Turks and Caicos, Jamaica, Haiti, the Dominican Republic, Puerto Rico, and the Leeward Islands getting in on some of that. And we're indeed grateful. It's been quite the dry season for some of us. So yes, we are grateful for the rainfall that we're currently experiencing. And if we focus our attention on what was predicted in yesterday's video about the weather across Jamaica for today, it was stated that we would have received some amount of rainfall across sections of some northern and eastern parishes in Jamaica on Monday morning, then across sections of mostly southern parishes during Monday afternoon. And just for reference, we know northern parishes, we're talking about Hanover, St. James, Trelawney, St. Anne, St. Mary, Portland, eastern parishes, and now we're talking about those parishes in the county of Surrey, so Portland, St. Thomas, Kingston, St. Andrew. Southern parishes, you know, we're talking about Westmoreland, St. Elizabeth, Manchester, Clarendon, St. Catherine, Kingston, St. Andrew, and St. Thomas. And what ended up happening? As early as 4.40 a.m., we saw the morning forecast coming through with some greens on the Cuban Doppler radar images that represent light to moderate rainfall affecting sections of some northern and eastern parishes, more so sections of St. Thomas and Portland than anything else so that indeed confirms the rainfall for northern and eastern jamaica then during the afternoon hours the visible satellite images were posted at 3:05 p.m highlighting the clouds bringing some amount of overcast skies if not isolated showers to sections of eastern jamaica and sections of some southern parishes so sections of definitely westmoreland st elizabeth manchester section of clarendon got some the action more so cloud cover across section of St. Catherine, Kings and St. Andrew than anything else. With some isolated showers across section of St. Thomas and Portland still. And we even saw some sparkling dots in there, especially across the southwest. If we take a better look at the infrared satellite images, 
we see those reds blues yellows greens that represent those high cold cloud tops being sheared off towards the east southeast just as predicted so we definitely had that cumulonimbus thunderstorm activity across sections of the island today we also see those sparkling white dots that are indicative of some amount of lightning flashes if not lightning strikes so sections of saint elizabeth and manchester definitely got in on that thunderstorm activity we even have farmer brown confirming the rainfall in her era i'm getting a little rain in saint thomas too shane shane eka finn 8769 stating getting some rain in st thomas now and this was posted five hours ago on our youtube video from yesterday if we take a look at even our facebook page we have some confirmation of the rainfall winston ebang stating lovely showers this afternoon in southfield to treasure beach and along the pedro plains to black river really nice showers and also from rose butler rain in my era south manchester so that indeed confirms the rainfall across those parishes definitely more so sections of saint elizabeth manchester and saint thomas picked up the most in the way of rainfall today and if we take a look at the latest visible satellite images of jamaica before the sun went down we can see where those clouds were confined to section of portland saint thomas especially calarendon manchester and saint elizabeth clear skies could have been seen across sections of especially hanover saint james trelawney saint anne and saint mary but we still have some amount of cloud cover still plaguing sections of some southern parishes and eastern parishes so sections of manchester clarendon maybe some mostly cloudy skies tonight with some isolated showers still lingering in some spots and the cuban doppler radar images are showing that the rainfall is definitely dying out there are a lot more in the way of rainfall especially across the southern portion of the island this afternoon into the early evening but we can see all of that is dying down as we speak taking a look at the caribbean institute for meteorology and hydrology's accumulated precipitation for the past 24 hours we know this map is not 100 percent accurate and it might be robust in some areas than others but it does indeed paint a picture of where we had that rainfall today definitely a section of some northern and eastern parishes especially during the morning hours and section of some southern parishes during the afternoon some areas more than others some areas getting more cloud cover than anything else either way we're indeed grateful for the lack of sunshine and the cooler than average temperatures even though we didn't get much rain in some areas taking a look at the temperatures right now we can see a well 26 degrees celsius in montego bay 25 degrees celsius in kingston and by about 3 a.m on tuesday temperature should dip down to about 24 degrees celsius in montego bay 23 degrees celsius in kingston taking a look at the temperature forecast for tomorrow this map from the gfs is showing 18 z on tuesday when we calculate that that's 1 p.m on tuesday and we see jamaica embedded in some yellows and some goldish colors that as we can see by the key on the right represent anywhere from one to two degrees celsius above normal temperatures i know the normal temperatures for the month of april across jamaica are about 88 degrees fahrenheit when we take a look at the thermometer 88 degrees fahrenheit is about the same as 30 degrees celsius so we should be receiving anywhere from 30 to 32 degrees celsius at most for jamaica's temperature on tuesday taking a look at the dry air map we can see that we still have that moist air plaguing section of the northern caribbean and the greater antilles as we can see by those blue colors jamaica getting on that moist air the eastern section of cuba haiti dominican republic puerto rico the leeward islands all associated with the trough that are definitely moistening the atmosphere in and around the islands and we're indeed grateful for that we're not getting in on that dreaded dry air that we've been plagued with for the past couple of months all of these yellows oranges and reds are finally getting a break as we should we can see most of that dry air as we can see right there off the coast of africa represented by those reds and those whites within those reds as we can see by the key on the bottom it gets more intense the more to the right we go as it relates to the Saharan dust forecast for 2 p.m. on Tuesday, we see that majority of the Caribbean, including Jamaica, should be in the clear, as all the browns that represent the Saharan dust should be across the main development region right there, reaching all the way into portions of northeastern South America, even sections of the Windward Islands might start getting in on some of that. As it relates to the wave forecast for tomorrow, we see those lighter shades of blues surrounding the island along with some darker shades of blues and as we can see by the key on the bottom right that's representative of anywhere from 0.5 meter wave height to 1 meter wave height 
and that's because the winds are going to be coming in from the east northeast for the most part averaging anywhere from 10 to 15 knots as we can see by those greens and we also see a lot of that air piling up across sections of some southern parishes so we might just get in on some more afternoon isolated shower activity maybe even some isolated thunderstorm activity across sections of some southern parishes again maybe sections of saint elizabeth manchester maybe sections of kingston saint andrew maybe saint thomas who knows we'll see exactly what unfolds we know when all of this air piles up y'all have those clouds those cumulus clouds building into rain clouds or even some cumulus nimbus clouds so we'll see exactly what unfolds with that either way we have the upper level support for southern jamaica as well so we have the low level support and now we have the upper level support the upper levels having the wind the wind shear coming in from the northwest across the island so if we even backtrack and take a look at the infrared satellite images before everything dissipated we saw that we had more of a northeasterly or east northeasterly flow with the low levels across the island then once those clouds built across sections of southern jamaica into cumulonimbus nimbus clouds we saw the wind shear pushing all of this off towards the east southeast so it might just have something similar but more so pushing all of this activity off towards the southeast that's if it actually gets to cumulonimbus nimbus cloud or thunderstorm activity either way both rainfall forecast maps are in consensus that there's some amount of rainfall in store for sections of jamaica for tomorrow more so sections of northern jamaica again let me reiterate maybe sections of hanover st james chilani st and st mary portland might get in on the action and we see that both the euro and the gfs malls are in consensus with this but what time is this this map is showing 7 a.m eastern standard time and we know that's definitely 6 a.m jamaica time so maybe some early morning showers so if you're heading out at that time ensure that you walk with your umbrella people of portland st mary st anne i'm talking to you then just as predicted with the air piling up across southern jamaica we're starting to see those blues that represent rainfall across those spots this is the gfs map showing some blues that represent rainfall where do we see that across section of saint elizabeth manchester section of kingston saint andrew maybe section of western saint thomas what time is this this is 3 p.m eastern standard time which is actually 2 p.m jamaica time the euro map as usual a bit more robust showing blues that represent rainfall across eastern central and western jamaica i'm more inclined to believe what the gfs is showing with those blues mainly across southern jamaica during the afternoon that represent rainfall either way both accumulated precipitation forecast maps are in consensus that somewhere in jamaica is going to be receiving rainfall tomorrow more so sectioned off northeastern jamaica and southern jamaica than anywhere else you rushing up to 0 0.67 of an inch of rainfall for the totals across southern jamaica a bit more robust than the gfs gfs only showing up to 0 0.33 of an inch of rainfall so we're indeed grateful that the next 24 hours might be you know bring some more rainfall to sections of the island we're in the month of april we're in the final month of our dry season so we'll take all the rainfall that we can get to put some kind of a dent in the drought that some areas are currently experiencing we usually experience up to 114 14 millimeters of rainfall during this month that's almost five inches of rainfall so we'll take all the rainfall that we can get at this time all right so that's it for the forecast across jamaica let us focus our attention on the rest of the caribbean so we can see those clouds associated with those troughs and leftover cold fronts still bring some amount of cloud cover showers and thunderstorm activity to sections of the southern bahamas eastern cuba the turks and caicos sections of jamaica haiti the dominican republic puerto rico sections of the u.s and british virgin island st kitts and nevis anguilla antigua and barbuda st martin we can also see some amount of clouds right there on the border of honduras and nicaragua bringing some overcast skies and isolated showers to those spots not to mention some rain across sections of guyana Suriname, and french guyana as usual as it relates to the doppler radar images of the northeastern caribbean if we actually put these doppler radar images into motion we can see where we indeed had that rainfall across the leeward islands today 
so definitely section of the Dominican Republic, Northern Puerto Rico got in on the action, section of the US and British Virgin Islands, St. Martin, St. Kitts and Nevis. We know when it comes to the Doppler radar images, we're basically mimicking what we see on the satellite images, but we see exactly where we're getting that rainfall, even sections of southern and the eastern Puerto Rico got in on some amount of rainfall this afternoon with that southerly flow. And if we take a look at the Barbados radar, we can see that we indeed have some amount of hit or miss isolated showers passing to the north of the island, heading into sections of Martinique, sections of St. Lucia, St. Vincent, getting in on the action as we speak. Not much across Barbados, only some sprinkles here and there. As relates to the wider view of Doppler radar images now, we can see that rainfall that we just mentioned across the Dominican Republic, Puerto Rico. We can also see that rainfall across sections of Colombia, sections of Guyana, Suriname, and French Guyana. As it relates to the temperature forecast for tomorrow, we see more so in the way of yellows and gold colors that represent some slightly or maybe robust above normal temperatures for sections of the Caribbean. A bit more robust where we see those reds and those blacks across sections of the United States, Gulf of Mexico, Central America and South America where we see those way above normal temperatures as we can see everything being represented by what we see on the key on the right. As related to the siren dust forecast for 2 p.m. on Tuesday, majority of the Caribbean should be in the clear as all the bronze that represent the siren dust should be across the main development region, especially that area closer to Africa where we see that darker shade of brown that are indicative of that vigorous plume of dust that we don't want to see. That's that dust that, you know, triggers some sinusitis issues or asthmatic conditions, basically some respiratory illnesses in some people. And they also cause the ear to dry out, not to mention bringing hazy skies to some spot. We can also see some of these brown colors or these brown colors starting to make its way into portions of the windward islands so who knows maybe it's a different thing that we're going to be seeing on wednesday getting more of this dust into portions of the caribbean northeastern south america is already getting plagued by 2 p.m on tuesday as for to the wave forecast for tomorrow you can see anywhere from those lighter shades of blues to darker shades of blues plaguing the caribbean as we can see by the key on the bottom right, that's all representative of anywhere from 0.5 for meter wave height to 1 or up to 1.5 meter wave height. And that's because the winds are going to be coming in from the east southeast for the most part across the eastern Caribbean, coming in from the east for the most part across the central Caribbean, and from the southeast across the Gulf of Mexico. And we see more so in the way of greens that represent anywhere from 10 to 15 to even 20 knot winds. As it relates to the rainfall forecast now, these maps from the Euro and the GFS are basically showing all the rainfall that's expected between now and 10 p.m. on Tuesday. Not saying that's going to be raining all the way up until then, but within the next 24 hours, these are the spots that are going to be picking up the most rainfall. And we can even see some purples in there that are indicative of anywhere from up to 3 inches or more affecting sections of the Dominican Republic, especially that area to the north of Puerto Rico. Both the Euro and the GFS models are in consensus with this. They are also in consensus with the fact that rainfall is definitely in the forecast for sections of Honduras, Nicaragua, Jamaica, sections of eastern Cuba, the Bahamas, Turks and Caicos, Haiti, the Dominican Republic might get in a small amount of isolated flash flooding. Puerto Rico, the US and British Virgin Islands might get in on some of the action as well. Not to mention sections of the Leeward Islands, maybe Antigua and Barbuda, sections of Guadeloupe, Dominica. Even looking southward, we might get in on some isolated shower activity across sections of Trinidad and Tobago. Guyana, Suriname, French Guyana, Southern Venezuela, Colombia, Panama, Costa Rica might get in on some of the action as well. I know that when both maps from the Euro and the GFS are in consensus like this, the chances of actually happening are much higher. Alright, so that's it for now. Thanks for watching.